Hey guys, it's your girl Missy back at it again with another video for you all, but this time it's actually going to be a question and answer video. I've been getting a lot of questions and a lot of responses on my videos and I just wanted to say thank you so much for commenting and asking questions and I've been trying to get to all of them the best that I can. And the outpour of love has just been phenomenal and the outpour of questions and what my advice would be is just amazing. So. I thought that today I would do a really quick video on just very common um, questions that I get asked frequently from purchasing from wish.com. I haven't really gotten many questions on any of my Dollar Tree hauls and then just general questions in, uh, in, in general. Um, so I just wanted to kind of touch a little bit on some wish.com things first. And I wanted to then kind of delve into some other of comments and things that I've been receiving on my videos as well. But before I do that, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the people that have supported me in this journey and that have actually appreciated my Dollar Tree hauls, my wish hauls, and my Dare to Compare videos. Um, but I just, again, I the amount of people that have subscribed is just really it's insane to me. And I know I said I was going to be doing a giveaway at 250 subscribers from my wish.com haul and all the items that I want to do as a giveaway have been ordered. So please allow it a few weeks to actually come through in the mail. And so I can do a review on them and then get it packaged and pick a random winner at that time. But let's just go ahead and get started with some wish.com haul questions. So the first thing I wanted to do was kind of give a little bit of a background. Um, in a prior video, I had given you guys my stats and I'll put the prior video link below and it was for my plus size women's clothing haul from wish.com. Now I've got a couple comments out there that had stated, you're not even plus size. Um, why, you know, why would you do a plus size video and all that other stuff? Well, in us sizes, I might not be plus size. I'm right on that borderline of fitting into normal average uh, clothing, and I say average because I don't think there should ever be a stigma on what size people are, but the normal regular clothes that people can buy, and I border right on the line of being too big for regular size clothes and then too small for plus size clothes. So with that being said, if I am a US size extra large in sizes over in Asia, then I am going to be considered plus size then. So when I said that it is going to be a plus size women's clothing haul, it's because I ordered it from the plus size section of wish.com in order for it to fit my US size. So that is why I said it was a plus size clothing haul. Um, I didn't really know necessarily how to put it in any other words besides that. But thank you for the other comments of other people saying, girl, you're not plus size. And why would you say you're plus size? You're not. And, and I, I do appreciate that. Thank you. Um, but according to Asian sizes, I am considered plus size or larger um, over there. I mean, my statures are, my stature is pretty large. I'm, you know, six feet tall, pushing it about 200 pounds. So I am fairly large compared to Asian people. So and that's not a bad thing. It's not a good thing. It's nothing. It's just my stature is larger. Um, so that is why I did do the plus size women's clothing haul and why I order them that way. Uh, another question that I've been getting is, or a statement, which I appreciate the information that everybody's been putting on there because I do think it definitely helps if everybody reads the comments down below on some of those videos, it does definitely help out. So the good rule of thumb is, is when you're ordering from US sizes to Asian sizes is always go two sizes bigger. Now I have done that before and I've ordered two sizes larger than what I normally wear. And in one of my videos, you'll see that I ordered a 5XL uh, long sleeve sweater hoodie dress. And that fit me almost like it would a regular US large or extra large. So that's going five sizes up and it still was too small. And then in the other video with the kitty cat shirt, that was two X's and it still fit pretty snug around the bust area. So it, what I like to do when I buy clothing from wish.com is I 
enjoy reading the comments, first of all, and that's just out of poops and giggles. I love reading the comments, but what I really appreciate is when people put a comment on the item along with a picture of them wearing the item, because that gives me a general idea. Nine times out of 10, when they post the picture, they'll say, I'm 5'9 and 140 pounds, and this is how the, this shirt fit me. Well, I can judge off of that picture. Well, she's 5'9, I'm six feet, and the shirt rode up on her like a belly shirt. And it's supposed to be an oversized long t-shirt. Well, now I know if that's the case, then it's definitely not gonna be a long shirt on me either. So that item is next and off the books and I won't be ordering it. So that's kind of how I do it. I definitely read as many reviews in English as I can because unfortunately I am not educated in other languages. I wish I was so that way I can get the full spectrum and full scope of the actual full 100% review. Um, that was mainly the thing that I got from wish.com was how I order sizes and why I considered myself plus size. So that was basically, um, that was basically it on those ones. Um, nothing really has that I can think of has really triggered me to think, oh, um, the suggestions. I have asked many, many people to put, um, suggestions on what they want to see me purchase. Well, there are some things that I definitely will look into, but if it doesn't fit my style, then I'm not going to go and spend the money just to do a review on it because I'll never wear the item again. Um, there is two items that this happened on. One of them I completely blocked because it was a full one piece fishnet crotchless lingerie item and I'm not going to go buy one of those and give you guys my full review. I'm not saying that I wouldn't buy it from a different store or whatever, but to me that was almost kind of like a very odd request. And then there was another request that was also blocked for, um, let's just say it was something that should be used in the bedroom. So I'm not going to buy bedroom items and review them off of wish.com either. So if there are suggestions like that, more than likely they're either gonna get blocked or I'm not going to even acknowledge it and just delete the comments. So please put again, if you do wanna see things from wish.com um, and if I don't necessarily like the style, I will be forthcoming and honest and say that's not really something that I would wear but read the reviews and if you're into it, then please go ahead and purchase it and let me know what you think. Um, nothing really else has really stood out um, on any of my videos, not any of the Dollar Tree ones um, and anything like that. There was one question that came up with the Dare to Compare video when I compared the Liquid Velour lipstick. The question was, is why do they package it to look like the same product that's purchased in the United States? I have no scientific proof behind any of this and no research proof behind any of this, but this is solely based on my opinion only. And to me, that means it just makes the product look more familiar to the actual product. So you feel more comfortable buying it. So you feel like you're actually buying the real thing and that you're not getting um, gypped out of it or anything like that. So. I guess that's just kind of a marketing ploy potentially, like with the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. It came packaged identical to what the actual product from Jeffree Star was. So I don't have any scientific proof or anything behind that. It's just solely my opinion because I'll tell you just from me buying it, that was the reason that I purchased it because it was the closest dupe to what the actual product was. Um, now I'm going to delve into some other questions that I had received or suggestions. Um, I did have a suggestion to do a video on the 21 way dress and that one is coming. I promise one of these days, I just need a second hand to help. Um, so that one is going to be coming. And then I got a, another question on hair and makeup. So my hairstyles, I obviously do them all myself. I dye my own hair. Um, I can give you guys the names of the products that I use and they're actually all from Sally Beauty Supply, except for one item I actually use, Matrix, and that's the color purple. Sorry, my cat's acting crazy. 
Um, and so I put that in my hair, which is how I've got like, and right now it looks red, but out in the sunlight, it actually is very purple. Um, so there's that. And then as, oh, sorry. And then as far as my makeup goes, I was asked to do a tutorial on how I do my makeup. And I would love to do that. And I will do that eventually. But I think you guys would be pleasantly either surprised and or shocked by what I actually put on my face. And so um, I'm pretty sure that that's going to get a lot of comments of, oh my gosh, I can't believe you use that cheap of a product on your face and things like that. But if you guys want to see it, I'm more than willing to do it. Okay, so now I'm going to delve into the one question slash comment that um, I know that people in my family and my boyfriend did not find very great. Um, and it made them actually upset. But to me, it is what it is. Um, in one of my videos, I was asked if I was a transgender. Now I'm going to get on my soapbox with this a little bit and then I'll hop off and I swear that'll be the last you hear of it. Um, I will say this, this is the comment that I responded back with was, nope, I'm not a transgender. I was born with an innie and I thought it was so cool I decided to keep it. Regardless of whether I was or was not or am or am not a transgender, that person who commented on it was still watching my video. And I am a person who believes 100% in you being you. And if you being you means you want to have piercings all over your face and you want to tattoo your face or you're a male and wants to identify as a female, that's on you. That's completely up to you. And as long as you are happy with who you are, then that's great. That's the only thing that I care about with people. As long as you guys can go to bed at night and feel good about yourselves and say, I'm happy to be who I am, then that's all that matters. It's none of my business to ask anybody, in my opinion, what their, you know, gender is or anything like that. If it comes up, I might ask, which would, how do you prefer to be referred to as? I have several people that I know who are transgendered. And so I think that kind of, to me, breaks the whole stigma, like stigma of that, um, that I'm very comfortable around transgender, gay, lesbian, bisexual. I'm totally cool with whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Now that could generate a lot of people saying bad things about me, saying, how could I, and why could you be friends with gay people? Well, because I accept people for who they are. Um, and the other comment was, is that I was definitely a dude and I'm not a dude, but even if I was a dude, then mad kudos for me for pulling off looking like a chick for 30 years. So anyways, that's all I really had to say. I wanted to say also thank you again for all of the several, several people out there who have commented nothing but nice things and who've been enjoying my videos. I just again want to say, a very sincere thank you from the bottom of my heart. So I hope that this kind of helped answer some of the most common questions that I get, especially with ordering clothing off of wish.com. And then also just some other generic and basic questions. But if you guys have any questions that you guys would like to ask me, please put it down in the comments below. I'm a very open and honest person and I will answer them the best that I can. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, just short, sweet, and to the point. And until next time, See ya.